and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall nighttime routine. This is what I've been doing in the fall. It's a little bit different. So my skincare is different, my cooking routine is different, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So if you've been following my October series, that is my October slash fall Halloween series that I've been doing. You know, I've been obsessed with sweets, but trying to make the healthier option. So the most popular one that I made are those pumpkin muffins. So I wanna keep it up, you guys said, keep the recipes coming up as well as healthy meals. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. We're gonna make cake batter cookies with all really good ingredients. And then this delicious dinner. I'm so excited. So this video is actually in collaboration with Green Chef. And yesterday I got my Green Chef delivery. So I'm so excited. If you watched last year's fall videos and winter videos, I always use Green Chef in the fall, winter, occasionally in the summer, but especially fall, winter, just because that's when I'm my most productive. That's when I'm really on my game and really on my hustle. And sometimes going to the grocery store and figuring out what you're gonna make is just a hassle you're waking up earlier in the fall and winter so it's just easy to come home to all the ingredients laid out and I'll learn new cooking hacks and tricks it's 5 p.m. we're gonna start with making cookies first just because Sometimes at the end of the night, I want something sweet, but at that point, I'm like, I'm done cooking. So we're gonna first start with the dessert, and then we're gonna make dinner and just have fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is the outfit of the day, by the way. This cute silk bodysuit that I got at Urban Outfitters. My gold day shorts. This belt is from Aritzia, and all the jewelry is Sam Oscarell jewelry. Okay, so we're gonna be making cake batter cookies with a little bit of pumpkin spice in them course it's fall so I found this all on little miss foodies Instagram I want to give her credit however there's gonna be a few things I'm changing so I'm gonna put a little star next to the ingredients that I do add my own twist on just in case it comes out like crap you're like okay it was Sam's fault not hers I'm gonna put the smaller bowl over here you're gonna start with a larger bowl Okay, so I just want it to be a little bit more sweet. So I'm gonna go in with maple syrup. So I just ate one, but here's my verdict on these cookies. They are delicious, but I don't think they taste like cake batter. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna rename them to spice cookies or pumpkin spice cookies. Technically there's no pumpkin in it, but it does have pumpkin spice seasoning. However, these are perfect during the week because they are more guilt-free, like they're a guilt-free dessert on like a Monday or Tuesday. For me, I try to watch my sugar during the week and on the weekend I'll have those like pumpkin muffins that I made for you guys. Those are really sweet, but those have a lot more calories than these do. So when you're making these, if you want to add more sugar, do. But if you want to enjoy something guilt-free and you're, they taste like pumpkin spice, guys. They're seriously delicious. I just don't think that they taste like cake batter, or at least not to me. Make them, tell me what you guys think they taste like. I love them. I don't care, I'm just gonna eat them all. Okay, so this is actually my favorite part of my Sunday routine, and that is cooking. Usually we'll have on music in the background. Jared's actually walking the dogs right now, but I pour myself a little glass of wine because I only have alcohol on the weekends, and I get into cooking, and it's fun, and it's especially fun when the meals look like this, like when they're professional-looking meals, and I already know it's gonna come out delicious. It gets me excited to cook, knowing that I'm gonna create this gorgeous, delicious meal 
and then I can save these and use these another time. This is what was in my Green Chef box. I have these three meals and tonight we're going to be making the white bean pudinesca. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. It didn't sound right. As I was saying before, Green Chef is a meal kit delivery service. One of my favorite ones to use in the fall time just because, like I said before, I'm a busy fall girl. I love fall. I always joke on the fall queen. Like, I just get so into it. I get so into my videos and I'm spending a lot of time editing and emailing and doing all sorts of things and getting in shape for my wedding, as you guys know. So I don't have the time to always go to the grocery store and think about all these meals I'm making. So it's really nice to do on a Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday. The other thing I love about Green Chef is it is a USDA certified organic company and they make cooking super simple because they have step-by-step -step ingredients. And the most important thing that I love about their directions is they include pictures. I've shared this before that when I'm cooking, I need to see a picture as well because I'm such a visual person. So I like that not only do they have easy step-by-step -step directions, but they also have a picture and they tell you what kind of pot you'll need. And so I actually have the vegan menu. A lot of you guys know I was vegan. I'm currently not, but I still enjoy getting their vegan menu. It's just delicious. And even Jared mentioned it too. They do vegan really good. However, they have so many different options to choose from. You can do paleo, you could do keto, you could do balanced living and plant powered. So there's something for everybody on the Green Chef website. Give it a try. You guys will love it. And Green Chef is giving my subscribers a really awesome deal. You can actually get $75 off Green Chef. That's $25 off each of your first three boxes. Just go to greenchef.us slash samo75. You guys can give it a try. So we're going to be making this one tonight. I'm so excited. I really feel like this meal was designed for me because they sent a lot of things that I use in my videos like organic capers. I love capers. They make everything taste amazing. We have some whole wheat spaghetti, crushed red pepper. And what I like about that is Jared doesn't like everything too spicy. So you can customize this. You can add it in. You could choose not to add it in. Alamada olives. You guys know I always eat these and artichokes. Artichokes are my favorite. So it's funny that that's in there as well. So I'm so excited. Two already peeled garlic cloves. Love that. Okay, so after you strain the beans, it says to add a tablespoon of cooking oil and then add season with the fennel and orange peel seasoning, salt and pepper, and stir. So we're gonna do that now. So I'm just using olive oil, but it says you can use any cooking oil. So we got our beans here. I'm gonna add the seasoning. Okay, so then you just add them on a baking sheet and we're gonna pop these in the oven. Now we're going to roughly chop the parsley, chop the broccoli into bite-sized pieces, roughly chop the artichokes and olives, zest the lemon, and roughly chop the garlic. Okay, so it says you wanna add the broccoli bites into the same bowl you used with the beans, and so I zested the lemon, and then over here you can see I roughly chopped everything. You just add half of the red pepper cooking oil. So I added some more olive oil. And you wanna mix this together. To the sound of voices and of drums. I will show you how the West was won. We left New York City with our windows down. Okay, so now you're going to add the balsamic roasted red pepper sauce. And it says to add two-thirds cup of water that you reserved from the spaghetti. So that's why it looks murky. This came from the spaghetti water. And add that. We're gonna watch a show. We set the table. 
look at how professional everything looks. So in the end, you just want to top it with some parsley. Yum. Put the broccoli and lemon in there. Yum, what'd you add on yours? Uh, Parmesan on the other go. Yum. You want some? Yeah. Pretty. This is definitely going to be a recipe that I save. Okay, so now we're gonna go in my room. I'm gonna take off all of my jewelry, everything, and we are going to get in a cozy robe and do some skincare. So today, this is huge for me, guys. I didn't wear foundation. I just had on bronzer, like powder bronzer, and I put a little concealer under my eyes, and that's it. So my skin has been looking really good, and I think it's the, I mean, you guys know I always have a really simple routine, but I wanna show you some new products that I've been using for fall. One of them is a pumpkin product, of course. So this is my robe. It's literally my favorite robe ever. It is so soft. I also have it in the star print, as you guys saw, but I love the leopard, especially for Halloween. One thing I will say is that you have to have a really relaxing nighttime routine, especially if you're someone that has a hard time falling asleep and getting into sleepy mode. So one of the things that I recommend is soft things that you look forward to that you just associate with nighttime. Also slippers, like get cozy. It's nice to take off your shoes at night. It's just like all part of your routine and just having that special moment to just relax at the end of the day. Okay, so the first part is my skincare headband. So I got this at Ulta and I literally love it. Like normally I'd be like, you can get anything or use anything, but this really is so good. It's the same material as like a robe, terry cloth. You can throw it in the wash, holds back everything while being comfortable. Like a regular headband, it's just like, I don't know. I put it right at my hairline, preserving my blowout. So I don't want to ruin that. And the first thing I do is I kind of just brush my ends or else I'll wake up with knotty hair and then it's just harder to keep the blow out. If I spend money on my hair and getting it done, I want to keep it as long as possible. And also that's how my hair is grown so much is because I don't wash it and style it every day. So that's the other reason why I want to preserve it so I don't have to, you know, run a curling iron through it or anything. So I go in with Dermalogica, what is this called? Pre-cleanse. This is like one of those cleansing oils. A lot of brands make them. And basically what it does is it just takes off the day. It takes off your makeup. It takes off mascara. It's not a face wash. All I had on was mascara and like a little bit of a black eyeshadow as liner, so nothing crazy. I didn't even put on lid. I put nothing on my lid. I always put eyeshadow on the lid or crease, but Sundays are for the natural look. Pretty. <laughs> totally normal. I take a hot cloth. <laughs> I'll check it out. <laughs> my bathroom leads to the backyard, which is great during the summer and when we're laying by the pool and you have to go pee, you just come right in through the bathroom. That being said, I heard a noise and you guys know I'm like so afraid of the dark. I hate it. That's why Jared always scares me. Like he thinks it's funny. Anyway, I heard a noise. I made him go out, check things out. He brought his ax. I didn't tell him to do that. I was just like, I hear a noise outside. Okay, so now we're going in with the best stuff ever. So this is by Peter Thomas Roth, and this is a pumpkin mask. It seriously smells like those pumpkin muffins I made. Like it smells like pumpkin pie. And pumpkin has the natural enzymes, I believe it is. The it's kind of, it's like a natural retin-A, or that's where retin-A is stemmed from, something like that. I mean, I don't know all the science behind it, but pumpkin is really good for getting the dull skin off and wrinkles and fine lines and acne and just really like burning the skin in a good way. <laughs> I'm not explaining this good at all. But it's amazing. This smells good, feels good on your skin. You can feel it working, you can feel it tingling. If you watch vlogs from like a month ago, 
was getting like all these little breakouts here. And I still show you guys my skin in the morning when I wake up, even if I have pimples, I don't care. I'm not like that. I always show you guys what I look like when I wake up. I can even explain this. It's like a mask and a scrub. So first you kind of scrub your skin and then you're gonna leave it on. But don't get it too close to your eyes because I've done that and it does burn. This stuff does work too. I think that the reason I was getting all the little breakouts here, obviously it's hormonal, but I know my skin really well. It's starting to break out up here too and I never break out on my forehead. So for me, I just needed to get the dull skin off of my face. Like I wasn't exfoliating. I was just clogging my face basically with product and oils and stuff, which is all good for your skin. But if you're not taking off the dead skin, and really like letting your skin exfoliate, none of the other products you are using are gonna work that good. So then you just wanna leave that on and then wash it off. And then because the Thermologica oil wasn't really a face cleanser, more makeup kind of can come off. Um, but today, not that much for me because I didn't wear like real foundation, I just had on bronzer and little tiny concealer. Going over here to my beauty fridge. <laughs> <laughs> just taking everything out. So I go in with Ren Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate Oil. And I was really turned on by this product because it is clean at Sephora. And then there's some other products that I'm not gonna use tonight because I did that pumpkin mask that I'll show you guys that I think have been helping my skin. But I think not using every single thing at night not having this long list of products that you use this one and this one just kind of keep it short and if you want to alternate you can but you'll never really know what works if you just kind of put a million things on your skin at night so put on this oil and hopefully this will help fight wrinkles oil leaves your skin nice and dewy but it also is going to help with keeping everything lifted and tight So this is the first product that really helps with the congested pores, like I said, especially around my period when my skin just breaks out more. And that is this toner. You can get this at Sephora. It's by Dr. Robux and it's their Skin Brightening Toner. This has witch hazel, aloe vera, and glycolic acid. The next product that you guys already know that I love and use all the time is my jojoba oil blend tea infused oil by Timi, and this is the repair oil. Jojoba oil is great because it will replenish your skin and make it feel nice and moisturized, but it won't make you break out. Some oils, if you're sensitive like I am, can make you break out. This one actually is good for acne. Those ones are my staples, but I've just kind of been switching things up. We're gonna talk about this moisturizer and I'm actually gonna use this one tonight. I've been using this morning and night ever since my mom left. This is beyond pricey. I have the smallest size and it's still like a hundred bucks. This is by La Mer and I've used this in the past and I'm back to using it again. And the only way I could justify it is you take this much so this should last me like a year this makes you so dewy it's really thick i wouldn't recommend this to my younger subscribers maybe 25 and older i'm 28 for anybody wondering and i've just been taking care of my skin since i was like 16 and trying to stay out of the sun but la Mer recommends that you go like this get your hands all moisturized. They say like literally the tiniest bit and press this into your skin. I use this before my SPF in the morning and it gives you the dewiest glow. Oh my gosh, it's thick like I said, but it's great for that like chapped winter skin. And just put it all over. I'm doing a close up of my skin. As you can see, it's like so dewy. Even my face, like look at my hands. <laughs> They're even dewy from that La Mer cream. So then I just lay in bed with Jared and we're watching our favorite show, Successor. <laughs> I will say though, during the week, my nighttime routine is a lot different because I don't like to watch TV in bed. Like Jared knows that, like I like to sit on the couch and watch TV. Couch just, potato. Yeah, I like to be a couch potato on during the week at night because I feel like if you associate your bed with TV, then it's hard to fall asleep. Do that, but on Sundays, the only time that I like to watch TV in bed. And so that's what we're doing now, watching TV. But anyway, that is my nighttime routine, my fall nighttime routine. I love you all. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.